Hey everyone, Tony George, Cup of Java, hump day morning, about quarter down nine Vegas time. Wind blowing 5,000 miles an hour. Uh, thought we'd just talk about a bunch of plays today I like. Just chewing the fat, so to speak. It's almost like a live chat. Then we'll give you an official free play tonight in the... Uh, Astros and Blue Chase game. Uh, not a relatively light day over at the website today. Uh, finally, we had a bad Monday. We had a good Tuesday. Although, back-to-back -back NHL losses. You know, I'm transparent. I tell you like it is every day. I don't pull any punches. There's no blowing smoke up your butt on this channel. For me or anybody, for that fact of the matter. What happened to the Vegas Knights? The last two goals in that game, obviously, were empty nets. They were trying to get back in it, but never got off the bus. You know, never got off the bus. You know, postseason, number one seed, home, the fortress, toughest ice in hockey almost. Wow. You know, there's some big, some head scratchers already in the NHL. Uh, much more so than the NBA playoffs, which we didn't get the win last night for you. Um, so we won the day before, lost yesterday. We're, we're going to talk about a bunch of games today. There's a lot of stuff that I like today, but I'm keeping it low volume. Uh, we got a doubleheader in Major League Baseball. We had a doubleheader yesterday after a day off. Told you we were making some adjustments. We went 2-0. Uh, just a 3-2 and a two unit pick. Just cherry picking slowly. I told you we're going to get right back in this thing. We got another... Three and two unit pick today. There's a lot of lines I don't understand today in the in the Major League Baseball that I'm looking at them, and I've been doing this thirty some years. I'm just looking at them, going, what? You know, then you look at the stats. I'm going, what? Those don't line up. So it's a dangerous day. But some games I looked at, I'll tell you that I like. Uh, I like the Mets with. Uh, Scherzer, you know what he pitched five scoreless his last outing after a kind of a rough start, and Syndergaard is nowhere near his old Cy Young self with after that elbow injury. You know he used to throw damn near a hundred mile an hour fastball nonstop. Now he's barely getting a ninety. You know, and after and Kershaw pitched to Jim last night for him, didn't see that. I had him under in strikeouts because the Mets are one of the best teams at not striking out in Major League Baseball. He threw nine KOs in that game last night. I think Mets bounced back today. Numbers reasonable. Cubs run line over Oakland. Last two days, 14 to 2. Cubs against the AL West on the run line. Their last eight games they played, they were favored. There ain't no. Just saying, there's a couple. A couple leans I liked. I kind of like the kind of like the Marlins today. Again, going up against Cobb. Saying, bunch of lines that don't make any sense. Kansas City line doesn't make any sense. There's a bunch of lines that don't make any sense today. And that's usually when you can't figure it out. That's when you stay away. You back up. Live to fight another day. That's why they play 160-some games every year. You got days you just go, well, kind of got to go with three unit here and a two unit there and cherry pick those two. I think there's they're some reasonable, a reasonable number there. Um. I was going to pull up uh, some NBA real quick. There's some key injuries here tonight. Yeah. John Morant going to play? John Morant doesn't play. It's hard to turn away the Lakers. If you just don't want to cross, I don't care whether you love him or you hate him, LeBron James. You know, he's one of, he's one of the best players in the league still to this day. Top five all time. Whether you like him or not, just you can't argue the numbers. You know, he's dishing it around, rebounding. Rebounding well, as a matter of fact. That's one thing Memphis has lost ground in since Stephen Adams went out. And if Morant doesn't play, you know, you don't know. You can't trust an injury report. Same thing in the Milwaukee-Miami game. They're laying six and a half without the Greek freak. Now watch him suit up right before game time and have 42. I'm not getting anywhere near that game. You can't trust anything that you see or read in the NBA when it comes to players playing or not playing. 
And we have a four-unit play tonight in the Minnesota and Denver game for our premium play. Getting back to Major League Baseball, just between me and you and a fence post. Tonight, I like the over in the uh, Houston and Toronto game. Toronto laying minus 120 with Jose Barrios on the road. Barrios, a fade pitcher. Now, last time I faded him, he kicked me right square in the gonads. Because I took him, faded him against Tampa Bay, who rolled in there unbeaten. And they beat him 6-3 with him, and he pitched a gym. Go figure, you know. But you got Barrios and Luis Garcia tonight uh, for Houston. Houston's off a loss. They're catching. They're plus 100 right now on the – let me see the updated odds. Now they're minus 110s. I thought you'd see some Houston money. I like Houston maybe to bounce back at home tonight. I really do. But these two starting pitchers combined ERA, 7.98 and 7.71. Against two teams full of hitters. Over nine. Over nine is minus 105. The under is minus 115. I'm going to go against the grain. I'm going to say over in the Blue Jays and Astros tonight. Get over to DocSports.com. Take advantage of the free 60 bucks we got in the link in the description below. And uh, you can get yourself some winners tonight. we got a prop card for four units. Memphis LA game. It's a LeBron James prop, but it's not... Just point scored. Minnesota taking on Denver. Do they close the gap and make a game of it, or does Denver blow them out again? I think I got the answer. And a couple in Major League Baseball. Doc Sports. Tons of free stuff over there. Free picks, write-ups on almost every game and every sport. Videos, odds, scores, matchup programs. All free. Come visit us. Have a great hump day.